Pom Pom Gang. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Pom Pom Sisters. And we are doing a Beyonce inspired jumbo knotless braids on Kalia for her winter protective style. To begin this look, you will need stretched blow dried hair. If you want to know how we achieve Kalia's blow dried hair, we have a video. I will have a link right there in the top right hand corner, or you can check it out in the description box below. Click on that to see how we blow dry Kalia's hair. So Kalia's just showing off all her length. So we're gonna go ahead and begin by starting by parting her hair. We are gonna part it into halves. And then from there, we are going to begin parting that into smaller sections to get her jumbo knotless braids. Now, if you are new to the Pom Pom Sisters YouTube channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, which is located right below this video. Or you can click that nice little pink box hanging out on the bottom right hand side of your video. And we are all about natural hair. We have, I have three beautiful girls who rock different curl patterns and including myself. I have kinky coily hair, Kalia has that type three curly hair, and Lonnie has wavy type two hair. And then Boo is kind of in between the both of them. So we're gonna get back to this video. I apologize, just had to throw that in there. So we are doing knotless braids. Now when I do my knotless braids, I braid under. I'm not very good at doing the overhand braiding. So all of my braids are braided under. So I kind of begin in the with my hands positioned at, as if I'm doing corn rolls and I just add the hair between my index finger and then that nice piece of hair that's hanging over the index finger is where I add those pieces of hair so I'm gonna show it to you several times on how I achieve it this is probably the best way I know how to explain on doing uh, knotless braids, but this isn't my first go at doing knotless box braids for Kalia. I have also have another video on that, and I'll leave those links down in the description box for you guys to also check out on how to put, do knotless box braids for kids. But this is my best method on doing it. I am underhanded. I don't do a whole lot of overhanded braiding. It's just not comfortable for me. That's just because I've been doing braiding you know for years underhanded so this is just the best way that i am comfortable with I will say that I do prefer doing knockless box braids over the traditional box braids that we've been doing for years. And that's only because it helps me with gripping the hair a whole lot better. Um, I'm not using a big piece of braiding hair and trying to get that to blend into the natural hair. I'm kind of like gradually adding it. And though that does take a little bit more time and trying to perfect, it's just a whole lot easier on my hands, at least to me it is. So I definitely, yeah, I prefer knotless braids over regular traditional ones any day. Like I prefer doing this method a whole lot easier. This protective style will last Kalia for at least two weeks. 
um depending on how lazy i am by the end of those two weeks i might do two weeks and a half maybe three but definitely no more than three weeks kalia's hair just it it collects a lot of lint and dust and dirt so she definitely cannot miss out on her wash days more than two weeks and a half i'm definitely pushing it if i go for three so and that's just for every protective style that i do on kalia i try not to keep those in no more than two weeks N definitely no more than three weeks and i just feel like that should be for anybody who does like protective style and braids unless you're okay with washing your hair you know with those braids in there and i'm not i just rather just go ahead and take them out and just start anew so no more than two weeks will i go without washing kalia's hair it's just that's just detrimental for her hair care We are about halfway or more than halfway done with Kalia's hair. I just want to show y'all the side view of her front of the front part of her hair and how we finished off the back. As you can see, they are very nice size sections of braids, which is perfect because Kalia does not like sitting still for long or for any hairstyle. She doesn't like it to take too long. So this probably took me about maybe two hours to complete. And uh, we added some touches of brown uh, braiding hair extensions to her hair just because Kalia likes to have that pop of color to her hair. And with her being in a private school, they are very strict about color being added to, you know, the hair. So hopefully she, she passes with this brown. I don't see it being a problem, but we'll, I guess we'll find out when she goes back to school next week. So, um... We're just going to go ahead and finish this all off. And at the end, we will then dip her ends into hot water. So stay tuned for all of that. We're just going to fast forward through all this because it's pretty repetitive. Once you get your groove down and how you plan on doing the, I mean, it, it goes, it flies back by pretty fast. And there you have it, our completed look for Kalia's jumbo knotless braids that were Beyonce inspired. We haven't dipped them yet. I just want y'all to see how her hair is looking right now. I added some coconut oil to her um, scalp to uh, just to add an oil because we didn't really oil her scalp down and her hair, her scalp does get very flaky and dry during the winter months. So we're just going to slay those edges, add some foam, wrap it up, and now we are going to dip the ends now for her ends i want those to be curly like um how uh, beyonce's were in her photo to give it like that goddess kind of look but i didn't have any like curly hair extensions to add to it so i just ended up taking some perm rods and rolling those up on her hair to give it that curled end and i saw this off of I believe her name is Jasmine. I follow her on Instagram. She did like a quick tutorial on her braids on how she got her curly ends. And this was simple. I had some perm rods at the house. So after we dipped them, I'm just showing y'all how she, how the, everything looks. Now, because I'm extra, I wanted to do a photo shoot in a grocery store too. So me and the girls took a trip to our local food lion and had at it. We took some pictures of Kalia and her new hairstyle. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy those pictures. We will see y'all on our next video. Thank you, Pom Pom Game, for all the support and love. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more of our awesome videos. Thank you.